everyone, I'm Claudine Jyoti Lamadrid and today I'm going to perform Leopold's Maneuver Return Demonstration. To give you an idea, Leopold's Maneuver is used to systematically palpate the gravid uterus. This method of abdominal palpation is at low cost, easy to perform, and non-invasive. It is also used to determine the position, presentation, and engagement of uh, the fetus in the uterus. It is preferably performed after 24 weeks of gestation when fetal outline can be palpated. In addition, it is also performed to determine if cesarean section is much safer. So before we proceed, we have to make sure that we perform hand washing technique to protect the patient and myself from cross-contamination. Also, prepare the necessary equipments, which are the pillow, towel, and a set scope. Good morning, ma'am. I am Rudy, your student nurse for today. May I see your band and please take your complete name? Alright, so that's first name Winnie and last name the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. And your birthday, please. Thank you. So, Ma'am Winnie, today we will be performing Leopold's maneuver. It is pretty much um, uh, an easy method, no hassle. This is to determine the position of the baby inside your uterus. Alright? So, I will examine your abdomen by putting a little bit of pressure for us to be able to find out the position of the baby. Okay? So for comfortability, I suggest for you to empty your bladder first, alright? And then I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Place the pregnant woman in dorsal recumbent position, supine with knee flex to relax the abdominal muscles. This is to relieve the tension. Place a small pillow under the head for comfort and towel on the patient's hip as this will displace the uterus of the inferior vena cava and the aorta, thus preventing supine hypotensive syndrome. Make sure that during the first three maneuvers, stand facing the patient. If the nurse is right-handed, stand at the woman's right side. For the last maneuver, of course, stand facing the patient's feet, left-handed, left side. First maneuver is the fundal grip. This is to determine fetal part line in the fundus. This is also to determine presentation. So using both hands, feel for the fetal part line in the fundus. Then notice if you feel firm, hard, and round, and if it moves independently of the body, it is the head. Or it is breech if it is less well-defined that moves only in conjunction with the body. Also, if the head it will be round and hard and the transverse groove of the neck may be felt. The breech has no groove and usually feels more angular. Second maneuver is the umbilical grip. This is to identify location of the fetal back and also to determine its position. So one hand is used to steady the uterus on one side of the abdomen, while the other hand moves slightly on a circular motion from top to the lower segment of the uterus to feel for the fetal back and small fetal parts. Use gentle but deep pressure. Now, notice, if it's fetal back, then it is smooth, hard, and resistant surface. Also, knees and elbows of fetus feel with a number of angular nodulations. The third maneuver is the pollux grip. This is to determine engagement of presenting part. Using thumb and finger, grasp the lower portion of the abdomen above symphysis pubis. Press in slightly and make gentle movements from side to side. This is to determine if the engagement has already occurred. The fourth maneuver is the deep pelvic grip. This is to determine the degree of flexion of fetal head, also to determine attitude or habitus. So facing foot part of the woman, palpate fetal head, 
pressing downward about 2 inches above the inguinal ligament. Use both hands. If brow corresponds to the side in the second maneuver that contains the elbows and knees, then there is a good attitude. But if it is poor attitude, then you will feel an obstruction on the same side as fetal back, which is a hyperextended head. Also, palpates infant's anteroposterior position. If brow is very easily palpated, fetus is at posterior position, which is occiput pointing towards woman's back. So now we are done with the maneuvers. We are now going to locate the fetal back again and listen for the fetal heart rate. Okay, ma'am, so we're done palpating your abdomen. I am now going to listen to your baby's heartbeat. Now, locate the fetal heart tone. For one minute, and record the result. are done with your procedure. I am now going to cover you up. So after doing this procedure, I have determined that your baby is at your left side and it's cephalic position, which means that the head of the baby is at the lower part of the uterus and is already engaged. It is an ideal position of the baby for labor. Also, the baby's heartbeat is normal, which is 125 bits per minute. So, do you have any questions? Alright, so thank you for today, family. So now we have ended the procedure. Make sure to perform hand washing and documentation for your findings. Thank you for watching!